Explore the mystical side of life in a multi-dimensional way. Welcome to Integrative Mystic with Anne Vivian. Welcome to Integrative Mystic. This is Anne Vivian speaking. I am so honored you have joined me on this podcast, on this Archangel series on my podcast. We are going to be flying with Archangel Raziel today, exploring mystical secrets and manifestation with this sixth chakra, third eye chakra, Archangel. I'm excited to get started. Thank you again for flying with me and Archangel Raziel. Don't forget to find me and this podcast on mindbodyspirit.fm. Check me out on iTunes, Google, and Spotify. Please subscribe. I also post these podcasts on my YouTube channel, Creative Psyche Studio. So I invite you in, my friend. I invite you to come into this angelic space. We're already here. We're always here. We're always in this angelic space or part of us. And be aware of that part of you that is vibrating with the angels, is communing with the angels, that cosmic expanded consciousness. Try and locate it in your body. Maybe it's in, you know, your third eye chakra around your, around your eyes. A lot of people feel it there, but maybe it's in your heart. Maybe it's in your belly. Maybe it's outside of your body. Notice, notice where in your body you feel an angelic presence. I kind of feel it in my throat today, this evening, as I'm recording this podcast. Witness that, witness that angelic presence, invite it in, be aware of your your human presence. We're all multidimensional beings who are connected with all of these different dimensions and vibrations all at once and we're centered i'd like to suggest we center ourselves in our heart that's where we naturally center and as we're aware of both our human selves and our other dimensional selves just just notice the alignment and notice even how you're feeling connected. We're connected today in this podcast. We're connected by connecting with the angels. We're connected as humans and my non-human friends tuning into this podcast. I'm sure I have multitudes. <laughs> I know I do. Feel that connection. Feel, feel the integration. Welcome. We are entering the sacred angelic space. Today, we're going to be exploring... Archangel Raziel. I love Archangel Raziel's vibe. I love what he's all about. I'm way into Archangel Raziel. We're going to talk about some archetypal information and research about Archangel Raziel. Kabbalah, the seven rays, the chakras. I am also going to share with you my envelope divination. If you've been following this Archangel podcast, you know, I've been going through each archangel and communing with them in a psychic blindfold, not knowing which archangel I'm communicating with at that time, and then recording the information and sharing it with you. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to share tarot and oracle messages for the week ahead. So let's, let's jump in Archangel Razio. When I tune into Archangel Raziel and the envelope divination, I did feel a strong compassion. I also felt, you know, it's interesting. I felt a distinguished vibe, an an angel of of distinguished elder kind of vibration. And I, I had this vision of the Senate, like the Senate we have here in the United States of America, which to me has something to do with politics and change, but also the wisdom of the elders. Is it corrupt? Is it imperfect? Of course, there is that element to it. Racist and sexist and everything IST is, but there's also wisdom and the Senate 
is like the rest of the world, I believe, changing and progressing and evolving. And there is wisdom <clears throat> of the elders being presented. And Archangel Raziel is sure wise. He is an angel of wisdom. When I tuned into the astrological houses associated with this angel, I got second, eighth, and seventh. Definitely second, definitely eight. So Archangel Raziel, his name means secret of God. And he is associated with divine magic, esoteric teaching, sacred geometry, mystical knowledge, and manifestation. So the second house is about manifestation and um, what we value, what we value materialistically and also our values. So there's definitely a connection there with manifestation and creating our goals, creating what we want to create. And also the eighth house, secret knowledge. The eighth house, the house of Scorpio ruled by Pluto. That's, that is definitely the Archangel Raziel vibe. Probably also 12. I was definitely tuning into eight. Um, the occult knowledge, mystical knowledge, psychic experiences, the underworld, seeing past illusions to the truth, seeing, seeing, to, seeing the secrets beneath the surface. Eighth house is all about secrets and esoteric divine knowledge, information about metaphysics and the, and the metaphysical and mystical realm. So this is all Archangel Raziel territory. I also saw the seventh house, which is interesting because in the Kabbalah, Archangel Raziel is associated with the second sephira or Chokma, Shokma, Chokma, different pronunciations. I'm going to go with Chokma. C H O K M A H is one spelling. And some Kabbalistic scholars believe this is the, the part of the tree of life. Um, the Sephira on the tree of life, which is, which is basically a map of consciousness. So in this particular point in the map of consciousness of the tree of life, Archangel Raziel is associated with Hokma, which is a polarizing aspect of masculine and feminine in manifestation. So there's a combination. This is one of the Sephira that's associated with sex because it's combining masculine and feminine. Although of course, in our human explorations, there are many combinations of gender and sex and sexuality. But in the Kabbalistic traditional patriarchal vision, Hokma is uh, interested in the masculine and feminine combination of abstract energies. And some believe relate to our sexual energies as well. But what you need to know about this that I'd like to share with you or what I think would be helpful to share about this instead of interpreting, interpreting it as literal is Raziel and Hokma, they help us understand how to integrate the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine. And it's so funny. It's such a synchronicity because tomorrow in my multidimensional manifesting group that I'm going to facilitate, we're going to explore how to integrate the masculine and feminine abstract components for manifesting our goals into reality. And no matter what gender or sex you are, we all have an inner anima and animus, an inner yin yang, an inner masculine and feminine component, abstract expressions of consciousness. So Raziel helps us combine these and understand how to channel and integrate this cosmic energy. And I think that's why I was picking up the seventh house, which is the house of Libra, the house of balancing and combining and integrating. And so, so, you know, call on Raziel to help you understand how to integrate these, these forces, these, these different parts of our consciousness for helping you with manifesting, achieving your goals. Raziel is associated with the indigo ray, the third eye chakra, intuition and knowledge, secrets revealed. When I tuned into the color, I did see blue. I definitely saw blue. I also saw blue, green, burgundy, and yellow. So I think I was getting the blue. He's also in some ways associated with the throat chakra. 
I've heard different people talk about, but I think the burgundy and the blue were kind of um, separating and expressions of this indigo ray in my in my psychic blindfold. In my psychic blindfold, I also got images associated with Raziel. These seem to be the most powerful thing in my meditation with Raziel. I saw an image of a star, a book, a cane, like a walking cane. And the star is expressing that mystical knowledge, that cosmic knowledge. If you work with Raziel, you'll be able to work with quite literally the stars Raziel is associated with the entire zodiac, so with all of the stars. And there is an ancient magical esoteric text called the Sefer Raziel. It's published, it was published in the early 1700s, but different sources I, I looked into said 1400s or earlier. I mean, this is probably dating back very to very ancient times who knows when this ancient magical text was written but it talks about the magical uses of the zodiac angelology ceremonial magic and it's one one myth legend lore is raziel is the author behind it all there's different there's different theories behind who is the author but but archangel raziel's vibe is in this book i think most might agree. And it definitely lines up with, you know, I'm picking up on star energy, cosmic energy for Raziel. Also the knowledge, you know, there's that third eye chakra, the sixth chakra book, knowledge, learning. I believe the cane is a symbol for wisdom and the elder wisdom, like kind of like I was seeing with the Senate. Archangel Raziel can help us see past surface illusions to the truth. See, get those magical, mystical secrets we need to understand, understand spiritual literature and teachings, work with our intuition. I think Raphael is also helping us to do that in a very angelic way, you know, heart centered. Um, I definitely got a strong vibration when I asked, you know, what does he help with? I definitely got this strong, compassionate vibration. He helps us he helps us help others. He helps us overcome difficulties and transmuting, you know, lower energies. But there was just such a strong, compassionate vibe. I, I got such a strong, compassionate feeling. I got one tuning into Raziel and he helps us to use that, that esoteric knowledge to understand mystical consciousness and apply it in that beautiful archangel way to the betterment of ourselves and humanity. That's why I love working with the archangels. They're here to serve humanity. They are these beings that are created and wired to help us, help us to grow, help us in the highest way possible, help us in a, in a very compassionate, heart-centered way. So call on Raziel, not only to understand esoteric information, you know, if you're, if you have a spiritual practice that involves, um, rituals or, or spellcraft or, um, ceremonial magic or any kind of, um, esoteric kind of metaphysical occult practice, Raziel can be a really powerful ally because he helps you understand that, but apply it in a way that helps helps you and helps the you connected with the whole grow in a space of divine love. When I asked for a message from this archangel, this is what I heard. Hold your head high, be bold and allow your heart to open. There are buoys in the ocean to help you stay afloat look to your heart for the answers. So there's that heart wisdom again, the intelligence of divine love. So even as Archangel Raziel is helping us understand these mystical texts and mystical under uh, mystical knowledge to, you know, sacred geometry and, you know, maybe even some um, magical rituals and, and mystical understandings of how to, create and, and apply ritual. He is helping us do that in that heart centered way in that dimension of divine love. So if you want to work with Archangel Raziel, 
call on him for understanding spiritual principles, spiritual texts, ritual, ritual design, prayer, intention setting, spellcraft, all of the above for using your intuition, for seeing the truth, for understanding secrets in a compassionate, ethical way, for help in manifesting and goal achievement. Well, he's uh, one of the um, visions I saw when I tuned in and I forgot to record this in my notes, but I'm writing it now because I definitely saw it was uh, a pile of gold. <laughs> Archangel Raziel can help you manifest and do so in his unique Archangel Raziel higher consciousness way. So call on him for help with goal achievement and manifesting your dreams as well. A ritual idea to work with Archangel Raziel before, I know bookstores are still out there. Most of us get our, our books online. So whether you get your, your reading material online or in an actual a brick and mortar bookstore, call on Raziel before you go on your search for the right book, before you enter that brick and mortar bookstore or before you, you know, go on Amazon or any of the other book selling um, online vendors and call on Raziel, call on your higher self, any other, you know, whatever your spiritual practice is, any other um, higher power you want to call in angels guides and Ask them to guide you to the most helpful spiritual text or helpful textbook material in general. Then focus that energy in your heart. Focus that energy in your body, in your third eye as well. Feel yourself call this consciousness out in your, in your own mind, body, spirit. Feel yourself call, your, call this consciousness from the cosmos. And then notice where you feel drawn. Notice what books pop out. That was Archangel Raziel deep dive and ritual idea for you, my friend. Let's switch gears and look at some tarot cards and oracle cards looking at the week ahead for the week of October 7, 2022. Here we are with the tarot and oracle card messages for the collective energy for this week, October 7th, 2022, or whenever you're tuning into this podcast. Of course, I pulled the lovers and also the eight of cups for tarot. Feel the lovers is tuning into that archangel and the lovers tarot card does actually have uh, an angel in the traditional writer weight imagery but it is a picture of lovers and it's about, it could be about a lot of things. It's a very Libra card. We're in the sun sign of Libra right now, but archetypally it's about choices, um, opposites, polarity, the masculine and feminine. It can also be about relationships. Archangel Raziel helped us understand is helping us understand how to combine the masculine and feminine abstract qualities in order to manifest. And I feel like the lovers is talking to us this week about relationships. I feel the message is allow yourself to be open to others, but also pay attention to your own inner knowings and wisdom and needs that's the libra new moon aries full moon dichotomy astrologically in the time of libra the polarity the dichotomy the exploration of the other versus the self so think about the other versus the self and balancing that this week how do the needs of you the needs of you individually Balance out with the needs of your partner, partners, relationships in your life. It doesn't have to be romantic relationship. It could just be your, you know, the people you are connected with in any kind of family, friend, romantic relationship. And taking steps to be aware if there is an imbalance, how you can bring that into further balance. Eight of cups. 
I feel like the message here for this week, it's time to take a stand, even if you're not sure of yourself. Be open to wisdom and insights about your needs and advocating for yourself this week. There is a higher knowledge and wisdom and you were meant to, you were meant to serve spirit. You weren't meant to serve something um, draining. You weren't meant to invest your energy in a, in a situation or place or context that does not bring you joy. So Take steps this week to advocate for yourself compassionately and take a stand for yourself. Be your own advocate. Move the forces along with the force of your own will and be open to change. I also pulled the drum ancestors Angels and Ancestor card, Drum, Dream, and Journey, and Sky Father, Trust in the Unknown. So this week, I feel like there's a lot happening, and it may be helpful to just, I feel like this goes along with the Eight of Cups too, center yourself, disconnect from the collective, disconnect from um, collective energies or other people's energies that are overwhelming you and make sure and take time to take care of yourself. My friend, take time to connect with your dreams and slow down and relax and meditate and reflect and, um, re-envision what you want in your life and allow new visions to come to you in order to do that. Sometimes we really need to create that sacred space and disconnect and, and create a space for reflection and, and personal space. Sky father, trust in the unknown. I feel like that is a very um, Archangel Raziel card. Trust in the unknown. Archangel Raziel is guiding this week to trust in the unknown, to explore some of these mystical secrets and, and mystical, magical knowledge and consciousness and this has image of a, a bald eagle on it so i feel like this card is saying to us as well you're able to still move through even in a chaotic energy you're able to move through and find that path towards um towards the majesty and towards the creating heaven on earth and towards the finding solutions to problems, even where you thought there were none by letting go, by trusting the unknown, the, the divine unknown, trusting that there, there is information and guidance that you don't know in your conscious mind right now. And as you tune in, let go, surrender, trust in that higher power, that Christ consciousness, the divine mother, the divine father, as you trust in that divinity, answers appear. We can't solve a problem at the level of the problem. We have to raise our vibration to a higher level. And then the next step appears in front of you. And then the next, and then the next. So, so be your own best friend this week. Advocate for yourself. Take action to do what you know is right tune into your own wisdom that might mean disconnecting a little bit from the crowd and getting a little space for yourself to connect with yourself in dreams, meditation, reflection, nature, creativity, and trust that spirit is guiding you, my friend. Even if you don't know the answer, spirit knows the answer. You don't have to know the answer. It's okay. I don't know all the answers. Trust me. But I do know that there's a process. There's a process of surrender and of trusting that opens me to be bestowed with that divine answer. And I wish the same for you. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed week, my friend. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Thank you for stepping into this angelic space with me. And I want to just bow to you and um, send you my gratitude for going on this journey with me as we're as we're transitioning back to whatever our day holds or night evening holds, 
check me out online. Uh, what, what the heck is my website again? CreativePsychestudio.com. I've got manifesting groups, multidimensional manifesting groups, dream circles, one-on-one -on -one sessions. I've also got a YouTube channel. There's a link there on my website. I will look forward to seeing you next podcast. Oh, by the way, I will be um, on vacay for the next couple weeks from this podcast. So please forgive me, but I will pick up where I left off in a couple weeks. Um, have a great Libra season, and I will see you next video group or session. Take care. Blessings. Blessings.